extent. Right, because Sonic Adventure 2 really only has two good fine. campaigns. I like them. They're, I, no, they're good games. They're solid. I would say it has four, like, really solid campaigns. What? We're talking two, right? Oh, no. Um, Sonic, Sonic Adventure 2 has two campaigns and three gameplay styles. Yes. Sonic Adventure has four different game... Has... Oh, Technically, yes, four right. different gameplay modes. If you, depending on what you count for. Him. Okay, but winners finals. Winners finals. <laughs> sorry, final, right. sorry. <laughs> sorry. We're, sorry. We're finalizing this conversation till later. Yeah. Both will we'll put John a pin numbers. in. We'll put a pin in that and more worry about John against the item brigade as he goes from fawn into snake. And we were talking about snake a little bit earlier and just like how how snake can be very effective in the up close game and in the frame data game and how you can pivot off of that. But now Bobo no longer has to worry about any like direct obstructions. It's all just how good is John out playing around his own items and his own setups. Shout out to the UFO back there and shout out to that roll read up tilt that mm -hmm. Bobo lands to take the first dock. Now for those of you on C4 watch, the C4 is just to the left of the platform there. You guys want a little treat into where John should not be. And, and he certainly wasn't as the C4 gets detonated. C4 Bobo. on the platform. You always gotta watch out for that. Sun Salutation stuffing the grenade. Very smart there from John. All right, nice little lob there. Lobbing it back. That's tough. You, you, like you're, you get the roll read right with that, uh, with that down air, and it Ooh. should be a massive punish. The grenade not being tossed in time in order to eat that Sun Salutation. There's some players who wear their emotions on their sleeves, and uh, Bobo is one of them. He's very in it, and like I appreciate that. Right? Like, sometimes it feels like. John is just one of those players that can really like sap away any sort of momentum you have going with for you into this uh, set with him. But Bobo is seems like just so into it and so willing to have his heart on his sleeve that like sometimes slowing slowing down the game or, or having to play against a playstyle like Numbers and how he can pivot so cleanly <laughs> isn't that much of a problem. Oh yes. Oh great C4 there on the platform, just replacing that. Not the same position, just a little more in the middle. Mickey it out. Just dropping that in. Oh, it looks like he was expecting a Sun Salutation there to just uh, duck under it, but not happening. No Nikita key to play here. Keep in mind here that Wii Fit is very hard to hit with some of these follow-ups, so these down throws aren't going to set up for anything true, oh. but if you have the... They aren't going to set anything anything true up until 160, but... John immediately answering back with a bear. When you have the reads, sometimes you don't need to wait as very nice stuff to, on both players' parts. They get the down smash first, and then deep breathing back air. <laughs> <laughs> Just ready, ready and cooking. Just like all of these grenades that are much more plentiful, almost too plentiful, I guess, there for Bobo, taking a couple of uh, unfortunate explosions. Bobo doing a good job of actually getting rid of that C4. It was about to explode, and would have killed him. I do like the idea of a jab there instead of forward tilt one, but... The forward tilt one is overplayed sometimes, as a snake player. I'm just, right. I was waiting for the commitment there for Bobo, but it just delayed it so, so well, and John fall for the back air there as well. Trying to clinch this out with a f up tilt. Burst jab there from John. Ooh. Super nice stuff. The pivot is no. there. Four tilt. No, oh not doesn't hit. Good mash there from Bobo. Setting up well enough as the neutral getup gets by. C4 is on deck. Gonna have some good pressure here as John tries to get back up. Deep breathing once more. Okay. Nice little mix up there. Ooh. Not enough to kill 89 though. So, so uh -oh. tough, but it. Bobo, I'm going to be honest with you, bud. It did not matter where that air dodge was. Forward tilt one way or the other closed it out the stock here. The reverse hitbox would seal your fate regardless. Right. It hits out so long in both directions. Like, I feel like this is a really common mix-up from Snakes as well, where they're like, they'll be here with like a grenade. Uh, they'll be like here or something with a grenade right. and want to like air dodge through you and or bait you to hit them or something like that. Like air dodge away while you hit the grenade. Mm -hmm. And play the cross-up game with a frame four forward tilt, mm -hmm. but we fit uh, we fit forward tilt also hits both sides, and it's just one of those awkward things about a not often seen character is you can become you have much more game, you have a surprising amount of game around different characters by nature of being a little bit awkward. Right, and oh, John almost taking that first stock, uh, 15 seconds in. Oh, the empty line how, how did he get 130 so damage already? Deep breathing. Jeez. Oh, but John is sticky. And nope, uh, Bobo blows himself up. 
Try, trying to get a trade there, but unfortunately not paying off. Yeah, that is technical counterplay to Snake sticking you, right? Like yeah, sometimes you, you go up to him you, and you, you just, just like, run Oh my gosh! John! Dude, I think the down air hit the oh, Cypher no. and didn't break it. Bobo is still alive here with an air dodge Barely and a Cypher. Alive. And this is just John playing patient and knowing when to go in against Snake, waiting for some of these grenades or whatever Bobo's like offstage habits have been, which oftentimes ends up being the uh, the C4 placement and less so about grenades first, allowing John to like be a little bit more offensive early in the disadvantage state. Right. No, Bobo very very non-conspicuous with the C4 placements, being very conspicuous here on the ledge because hey, it's good pressure. Especially when you're trying to just fish that. Uh oh. Get it again. You set up the header and a song oh, citation. Shame that, shame that all Bobo could get there was a down tilt. That was just like a free punish, but only down tilt hits the ledge there and nothing kills. Ooh. Bobo barely missing the explosion there early. Evening up these stocks. Nick's got a lot of survivability here, and you can stall out deep breathing well enough. It's just about Bobo knowing, like, Knowing that the fact that you have to take your time and that big damage will come as you do so. That's right. Throw the grenades. The damage will come. Okay. It's 10% a pop or so. Like nine, something yeah, like 9% a pop. Yeah, something like that. Ooh. Almost killing. Oh, but that'll kill. Yeah, that down to super well placed. That, you know, something that many characters would love. But you're like an easy, an easy way to close out stocks on air, re grabs or air dodges and John... Placing it perfectly, careful of the Nikita. Numbers does avoid it just in time. So taking a ton of oh damage in order just to try and find their way back to stage here. But with that fantastic C4 placement just to get back on stage. Almost taking out John in the same breath. I think the wind box threw off some of the spacing there, but it oh did. boy, was the sun salutation primed and ready. The C4 placement. Oh no. And this time it's going to be Careful, careful, careful. Bobo getting the air arms back to the ledge, right, but missing the tech, but have the jump. Oh no, we don't tech those again? Missing Third the time? No, John just waiting very patiently. That down air not gonna hit. I, I, so, I don't know if it's caught in the replay or yeah. not, but I'm pretty sure Bobo did a, did an air dodge, or did a down air, right? Like a rising down air after, right. on his last stock. And, I mean, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Er earlier, though, on the other side, mm -hmm. they did, like, a rising down air in order to try and intercept John after yes. the Cypher. And John hurt box shift out of the way thanks to the, like, om almost falling off ledge animation, that teetering animation. Yes. Just went under it. It was like, It just, like, game. gave him a haircut right there. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I think even Bobo was surprised. He's like, I thought that was going to hit. This is good patience there from John, though. You see the spot dodge, you winning it out. And oh, yeah. No, Bubba was just doing too close. much at that point. He's oh, like, yeah. you know, I fell off the ledge. I had to go all the way back. I have my grenade. I got a spot dodge. It's it's just a lot. Just like you in the Lucario spot dodge. Oh, to bring you. back some memories. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi, chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as we get a little bit, a look into the loser's bracket here. Uh, so there's... Right. Well, there's a Fawn and Carflow, a little bit of a... Oh, we actually have a... It would be interesting to see this because this is a rematch from last night.